Hello, Peter. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. I'm just having a cup of joe here. Yeah, that's nice. In my nice. beautiful uh, fika mug. I'm actually having a beer myself, but yeah. I was thinking about having a beer, and I might actually add one to this conversation in a little bit, but I needed a, a strong cup of coffee. Yeah, we will get into the beer talk later. Yeah, uh, yeah. awesome. Last time we spoke, it was about one and a half, one and a half years ago, I think, maybe. Or yeah, one year, yeah. something like that. It was in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, things were not so good for you, uh, for your business. Yeah. How is it now? I think uh, the businesses are slowly recuperating, but uh, the big issue with the restaurant business, to name one, is, and I think it's the same with the music industry as far as the uh, the crew goes, etc. Is that uh, a lot of people had to leave the business during the pandemic because the the government really didn't really offer any proper help for people working in uh, in the restaurants and for people. Like me trying to employ people, we had a hard time getting some support to to get them to stay in our business. Uh, same that goes for from you know touring crews that uh, couldn't stay uh, stay in the business because then they needed to get other jobs. Uh, so that's the biggest challenge right now to try and get because we're starting new restaurants as we speak and we try to get new staff into the restaurants and um, it's very hard to find people who uh, are willing to uh, um, take a chance on the restaurant business again because of the uncertainty what will happen if a new a fourth wave will come yeah. uh, not because it's unsafe in the restaurant business but because it's unsure how the government will react if they will uh, create a better support for the people working but with that said, I think that the people are going out more than they have before. People are actually supporting the restaurant business a lot. And uh, we see that it's it's uh, slowly but surely it's coming back. And I can only hope that we don't get a, a fourth wave, not only because of this, of course, but because of the public health, obviously. Yeah. 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 But you had a, at your brewery, you have opened something there, haven't you? Some food. Yeah, we opened a, we opened a <laughs> restaurant there as well. <laughs> yeah as if it wasn't difficult enough but i mean uh, it's mainly because um, in the brewery we had a tap room before where you were allowed to serve eight servings of like small glasses yeah. per person um which was great because we want to uh, try and teach people about uh, flavors and tastes uh, without getting intoxicated per se yeah. but at the same time we think that people are adults and they should be able to choose themselves so but the laws in Sweden require um, that you have a proper kitchen to get a full license. So we built the kitchen and we started a restaurant so that we can serve full sizes of the beers that we make. Uh, and also like we have the tasting trays and everything still. But yes, yeah. yeah, so we opened about uh, we opened one one test weekend before midsummer and then we opened last Wednesday for real. So now we're open Wednesday to Saturday every week for the rest okay. of the year is the plan. So it's it. really, really exciting. Yeah, I really I, I gotta go there, and I need to. Yeah, you should try it. So um, it's, it's uh, great people working there, and the, the people that work in the tap room before yeah. are here now with some new additions, and uh, they make everybody feel very welcome. I gotta say, amazing yeah. people. Yeah. Okay, so the halo effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How's that? I mean, I've been talking to Niklas before, uh, mm -hmm. and you, the last time we spoke, you mentioned that there was something coming. That's, something, something cooking, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what's going to blow people's minds. It was your yeah. exact exact words, and uh, yeah, it did. I think. <laughs> Very modest of me to say that, but I was yeah. hoping for it. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's uh, fantastic, fantastic. We've spent the uh, the better part of two years for actually releasing the the name of the first single, yeah. writing, recording, polishing, um, fixing details, and uh, making a plan. Yeah. Uh, so when we finally got to release the news, we were very very excited, um, and it seemed like people were as well, which was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now we've released now we released uh, some songs and. Um, well, what is it? Is it four songs now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, th three videos and four songs. 
and uh, we played our first show at Sweden Rock a couple of weeks ago, and it it was just amazing, you know, to be up on stage with these guys. Uh, I think we all shed more than one tear, and uh, we all had huge smiles on our lips because it was so much fun to play, yeah. and it was just pure happiness. Yeah, because if you're in the metal band, you can really smile on stage, can you? Exactly. So we 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 gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we are big and tough uh, in, in like uh, on paper, but you yeah. know, in in uh, reality, we are teddy bears, you know. Yeah. So now, if, I mean, it was just great. I yeah. could just, I, I just, I realized during the first song that I was about to, you know, I'm very sensitive guy, so yeah. Yeah. I was about to start crying a little bit, and then I, I went over back to Daniel and just saw the same in him, and I was like, told him in between songs, <laughs> I, I'm about to cry. He's like, me too. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was, uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, a lot and, of um, emotions to play, play with, to play again with Nicholas, Jesper, and Daniel was amazing, mm -hmm. and to share a stage with Mike. First yeah. time, it's just pure happiness. Yeah, yeah. I have only seen it on YouTube, and uh, not the best sound, of course. But but you know, yeah. <laughs> but it <laughs> Me looks, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, it is what it is. Uh, obviously, yeah. mobile mobile phone sound, but it yeah. kind of um, summoned up the, the 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 vibe of the whole thing, yeah. which was you know yeah. the, uh, the point of it. I have seen it a couple of times, so I, I like it, and I. Thank you. Uh, I, I, my plan is to go to Stockholm when you are on tour. We will see. In September, yeah. 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 Yeah, please do. Uh, I hope so. I, that, that's the plan. I, we will see. Yeah. It all depends yeah. on work and whatnot. So, yeah, of course. Yeah. But uh, my, yeah, I, my big plan is to go there and see you guys. Uh, Machine Head also, it's a, it's a favorite band of mine, so we've seen them before. Yeah. But... And also uh, Amon, of course. Yeah. Gonna be good. yeah. I mean, we're, we're super psyched to be part of this tour. It's, it's going to be, uh, it's such an honor to be invited by the guys to do this. And um, it's going to be fantastic to be able to yeah. open up and, you know, play for, I don't know, play our album, I, I guess, and, yeah. um, and just, just enjoy it, you know. Yeah. No yeah. pressure, just go up and have fun. Yeah. Can't wait. That's the way it should be, you know. Have, yeah. Have fun. Um, what was I was thinking about? Um, uh, you know, I, as you probably know, I don't. I, I, I am a part of a, the Halo Effect fans worldwide. Yes. yes. On on Facebook, it's me and another guy who runs that, and. Uh, we have a thank lot, you for that, we, by the way. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of members, and they keep on coming every day. Actually, I think uh, awesome. we are well, three thousand five hundred right now, or something. Wow, that's yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah, and uh, the questions I get from those people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The the I, I mean it's it, it's a lot of fun because I can see where they are from. You know, it's not just Sweden. It's uh, a lot of from South America, very much from South America, uh, and uh, the States, of course, and uh, uh, all over. But they are wondering about tours, you know. And uh, <laughs> I don't, I can, I, I can, I can't say anything because I don't know. But I, yeah. what, what I tell them is that I think that they they want to as soon as they can, and. Uh, they are happy with that answer so well that's great i mean obviously we want to play everywhere yeah. but, uh, we'll have to take it step by step and yeah. uh, and do what we can at, at the time that we can but yeah i mean uh, i would love to go to south america again i would yeah. love to go everywhere again yeah uh so but we'll figure it out and take it uh, take it as it goes yeah and that leads me to the, this little music thing also the the quiz yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah okay yeah the, the, because normally I make you guess for some, you know, other artists, and but this time there will be, I think, something you have never heard before. Uh, it's only local bands from my area, three of them, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do a little pretend thing here. We're gonna, ex you know, the management, your management has called you, called you up with these three bands, and you were going to choose one of them to be your opening act. 
Oh, just for fun. We, which means I can't. I gotta. I gotta take two bands away. I hate this stuff. You know? <laughs> but okay, let's try it. Yeah. So uh, I can tell you that two of the bands don't exist anymore. So that I don't think you. you let's will... hope I choose the the one that does exist. Yeah. I hope you will hear this. Let me know if it's too loud or too low, and I will. Well, yeah. This is this is the first one. Are you ready? That's that's the one one of the bands. Oh, yeah, that sounded great. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I have the other ones on a different uh, thing here. But I hope you hear it. Yeah. So now no. you got to choose one of those. I think they all sounded really good. I got to say, <laughs> groovy, catchy, everything. Great singers, uh, but uh, I think there was the one that sounded better than the other two, uh, and very, very slightly. And I'm yeah. not saying this to be boring, diplomatic. But the first <laughs> band, I choose yeah. the first band. Yeah, that was a good choice actually, because that's the only band that's existing. Uh, okay, right what's the name of the band? Uh, the first band was uh, a band called uh, is called Battering Ram. Mm -hmm. uh, they are they are from Philipstad. It's uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know where it is, but uh, it's, yeah, uh, of course, yeah, yeah. They are active. They have released a couple of or maybe three albums. I don't know uh, exactly, but they are actually playing in my town this weekend. So I'm gonna go and see awesome. them. Awesome, yeah, yeah. And yep. the other band was a band called Loom Call, uh, with a song called B. Uh, they don't exist anymore, either. Uh, and the last one is my old band. Uh, it's called uh, Morningwood in the Late Afternoon. 
uh, yeah, and uh, that's it's a really silly song. It's only all the uh, all Beavis and Butthead quotes in the lyrics. <laughs> that's not silly at all. That, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I, I I honestly th- uh, think that everything sounded really good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you for yeah. showing me that. Yeah, that will be. If if they the battering ram guy sees this, I will, but they will be proud. So, I I cool. I will show it to them. I hope. Yeah, please do. Yeah, we should uh, refor- we should reform the the your band and and the second band as well. Yeah, but yeah, it's impossible. I'm afraid uh, one of oh, the okay. guys has passed away, so uh, mm. we can't. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's happened. Uh, it's a couple of years ago, but uh, yeah. That's too bad, actually. But he was a great guitar player. So uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but he got sick. So yeah, uh, what what are your plans for Halo Effect right now? Uh, except for the we touring. have uh, yeah, we have four uh, four shows booked for the summer. Uh, yeah. To uh, and it's. Um, in uh, Slovenia and it's in uh, in uh, Turkey, it's in Japan and it's in Germany. Four okay. shows uh, before, kind of warming us up for this whole tour and, and you know some festival, some festivals uh, that is, and um, rehearsals. You know a lot of rehearsals. We got a we got. A, I mean, we it felt really great to play Sweden Rock and we rehearsed a lot before it, and I think we're gonna rehearse uh, even more before the. Yeah. The next show and before the tour yeah. and um, keep on writing for for uh, the follow-up obviously we, we do have some songs already and uh, uh, we had the fortunate uh, I mean the good thing about creating this in, in the pandemic was that we actually got to write a lot of songs so we chose actually the one that we felt fitted perfectly into into uh, the first album well, we do have some more more songs ready um, so we'll keep on writing and do that and, and keep on spreading the halo effect and spreading you know positive yeah. news and and good vibes and all that yeah. you know and enjoying the summer while while doing it yeah um how tired are you about the comparison to in flames <laughs> to hear hear it i mean <laughs> no i mean it's 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 obviously uh, something very uh, natural to ask uh, but i mean somebody said it really well to me and i've said it in other interviews um i it's like talking about your ex-wife you know um i have a new wife now and her her name is the halo effect so let's talk about her kind of you know yeah 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 Yeah, because i've seen a lot of you know on the on the page that i run i try to moderate is the is the word i think yeah yeah yeah. but there's a lot of silly discussions. I mean, I, I don't. Well, there always will be. But I mean, yeah. what, what people need to need always need to know is that uh, you know we're all we're all on good terms. We're all yeah. good friends. There's no yeah. rivalry. Nah. Everything's That's... just great. And and yeah. I mean, we we create music out of the love for music, and we yeah. chose to play together because we we love and uh, like each other, respect each other, and yeah. That's all there is to it. Yeah. And I think a lot of times people want to create drama, but there is no drama. <laughs> Yeah. So it's really it's really easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, good. That's the end of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all I had had today, actually. So, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, thank you again for putting up with this uh, kind of silly stuff. <laughs> it's not silly at all. It's it's uh, just uh, it's very nice to talk to you again. I mean, we we chat all the time in Swedish, but it's nice to do this again. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you.